hey guys welcome back to my channel today I'm going to show you guys how I got this bomb red cut crease and I'm going to show you some tips and tricks how to get a perfect cut crease especially if you have fitted eyes so I'm going to start off with the morphe 35b palette taking this red shade and I'm using a brush to basically map out my cut crease I start already making out the shape of the cut crease and then I'm taking the Juvia's Place Magic Mini Palette and I'm taking this reddish orange shade and I'm going to take a smaller blending brush and just continuing to make it more deep and more pigmented and just going along those lines then taking a fluffier brush to blend out the edges as I go then I'm taking the Kylie Cosmetics Burgundy Palette, taking that burgundy shade right there and I'm just deepening up the crease with a small blending brush just to make it have more depth and then also again blending out the edges and then I'm going to take the Jaclyn Hill Palette, Jaclyn Hill Morphe Palette, taking that brick shade and again adding more dimension and more depth to the cut crease and just blending it out seamlessly and just following that natural shape and I'm taking a makeup wipe. I've seen a lot of makeup artists do this where they clean off the surface of their eyelid as much as possible not all of it just so when I use this um, makeup revolution concealer it won't um, turn red and also you saw me like look up that's just so when I look up normally because I have pretty eyes when I look up normally the makeup won't transfer so that's a really good tip to look up and um, look up and then it's gonna transfer and then start making your crease following your crease out that way and then I went to like Morphe, Sephora, Ulta, and I picked up some new products. So this is the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer, and I use about a pump and a half. I love this primer so far. I've used it a few times. It gets really sticky, like tacky, and that's going to make your makeup stay all day. So I really like the primer. I have a combination oily skin and it's still the primer still works great. And now I'm taking the NARS Radiant Foundation. I'm in the shade Tahoe. If you want to use me as a color reference, I'm gonna give you guys a video on my foundation routine. So I'm not gonna go too much into how I do this process because y'all have seen this a million times. So that video is coming soon. Recently I got a facial, so that's why my skin looks a little crazy. I have that type of skin where my skin gets worse before it gets better. So it looks better now, but this was like fresh after my facial, like the day after my facial. So I got a derma plan, and if you don't know what a derma plan is, then it's basically like giving you a new layer of skin. And then I also um, got a facial, so anytime I get like new products anytime no matter what it is anytime my skin has new products it gets worse and it breaks out bad first and then it gets better I don't know why it's just crazy like that so I'm not really panicking now if this continues then I might start to panic but as of now it should be getting better so yeah that's just my update on my skin but then I'm taking like a lot a uh, smaller brush and I'm making the liner and I'm using my hand as well and I'm using the burgundy palette for the outer part of the liner then I take the Juvia's Place palette for the inside of the liner and you see it's like lighter on um, my eyelid and then towards the edges of the or the end of the eyeliner it gets darker like that burgundy shade i wanted that effect and i thought that this looked so cute you can really tell in person then i'm using my favorite bronzer oh my gosh fenty beauty sun stalker bronzer is the best i'm in the shade beijing gal and i really really went od with the bronzer today so i was really obsessed like i really layered the bronzer and it looked really good i love this bronzer I really packed it on just to look really bronze and then I'm taking Fenty Beauty highlighters and Mo Money Hustle Baby and I forgot the other name 
I used to. And also my wig looks a little funny today because I did not put a ball cap under here. So that's just my hair under my wig. So do not come for my wig, okay? But I will link the the wig information, my video that I did on that in the description box. And then this blush, oh my gosh. My favorite blush ever. It's from Tarte and it's called Parte. I love this blush. I feel like it's perfect for my skin tone. It's not too bright. It's not too dark. It's literally just perfect. And I OV with the blush today as well. You know blush turns you into an angel. And then I'm using MAC Soar Lip Liner to line my lips. And look at that cut crease. That cut crease is so bomb. Let's talk about it. Like, let's talk about it. And then I'm taking Max um, Lip Glass. I think this is Oyster Girl. It is Oyster Girl. And I'm just putting that on my lips. And of course, using my Beauty Supply Clear Lip Gloss to make it even more glossier. Then I'm adding faux freckles with a bobby pin and Max Dark Deep Skin Finish. And this is just how I do it. I just, these faux freckles are super easy. And then I also added the um, diamonds or the rhinestones in my inner corner and that's gonna be my summer signature last summer it was on my lash line but I hope you guys love this look I'm obsessed with it subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next one bye